Mm. All right, I'm rolling. Well, we made it. We're, uh, what's this place called again? The, the layer. The hatch? The, the hatch? Layer. The yeah. layer. Yeah. We, uh, we're here at the layer to hunt ducks with Phil and Cy and the boys. And I think Cy's here, but I'm, I think we're the first to arrive. No one is to be seen. Uh, so I'm a little nervous. I brought three different hats. First one had a little too much white on it. Jordy has made me very nervous about this uh, redneck extravaganza. So let's go and see what the day holds in store for us. Still nervous. Well, you know. How you doing, sir? Tyler Farr. What's name? Tyler Farr. Tyler Farr. Tyler Pleasure Farr. Pleasure to meet you, sir. Pleasure to meet you. Well, Jordy's been talking smack on you the last week or so. I don't know why. No, Jordy has been. He's been. They all talk smack. Well, hopefully we'll kill a few ducks. These are the hardest ducks. Where are you from? Uh, Nashville. Nashville? Yeah. My, uh, These are the hardest ducks down here to kill. They don't run the gauntlet from Canada hit to here. So when they get down here, only the strong survive. <laughs> And they're smart. This is Tyler. This is Tyler. He's a country western sailor. He's Willie's new partner. partner. Huh? He's Willie's new partner. Oh, is that right? I'm part of, yeah, part of Buck Commander, boys, with all them hooligans. Well, you know. <clears throat> Our country sing for the most part. Yeah, that's what they're doing. Perfect. Well, that's fine, right? Peace. You got a, got a vibrating button on it, too. <laughs> I think I just hooped my bridges. I wasn't ready for that one. <laughs> I guess it's the assist or something. That's why I like hunting with these boys. And I just they like shoot them and I just fight them. Yeah, I got them. Yeah, you can see them. <laughs> How many we get, man? Four, sixteen. <laughs> I aim for that banded one. <laughs> Boy, they don't come no prettier. Look at that thing. And they made this, they salt water made that. I'm like, what's that? I said, what the problem? And then salt water, put the colors on a bird like that. Somebody got into it. Zombie Look at that. Well, look, this is in, oh, it's 40 miles of just nothing but woods every direction. This is in, in the boonies on Red River. So there's a little circle up there, about all 15 yards circle, maybe 30 yards circle. You know, with, with bushes all around it. So I'm sitting there and it starts getting dark, you know. Well, the coyotes, they got the yipping and all that, and every once in a while, and then I looked up there and seen something move at the edge of the brush on the other side. One of them sticks his head out, you know, you know, and he's looking at me. You know, well, hey, then another one sticks his head out. I said, oh, this ain't good. Well, hey, look, they get after me. I don't even know where I'm at. The coyotes? Yeah, coyotes. I don't even know where I'm at. So look, there's a little dim road where a pickup been driving, you know, through the woods. So I hit it, take off running, they behind me, you know. 
So I'm running, y'all, looking. I said, oh, hey, gang, I better go ahead and get another gear. And now it's a whole pack after me. And they, yeah, woo, 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 woo. you know, so I'm in second gear. I said, like, son, you better start really put it in third. You know, they get gaining. I said, put it in fourth. You know, they gain it. I said, all right, go ahead and put the hammer down and put it to the, you know, put the dead gum, put it to the floor. Okay. I finally, you know, I'll leave them in the dust on that pavement. When I hit the pavement, you know, and I got on kids' tennis shoes. You know, I'm running. I get up there and come to a four-way stop. Yeah, you know, I stop and tell me, good grief, you know, I'm burning up. And I said, God, boy, you know, hot. I said, the burnt rubber's getting stronger. Well, I happened to look down, and both of them kids' tennis shoes are on fire. <laughs> it was lucky. It, was, it had rained. It was a ditch over there. I just... <laughs> hey, come on in. You're just in time because I'm fitting to cook some ducks. Come on. I've had these things soaking in a salt water brine and refrigerator. If you do this for your woman, she's going to give you shell money, gun money, gas money. Go get me some more of that. I promise you. These right here, and women, I can't get off of it. I love it. But this has been soaking. I'm gonna do some little duck poppers. You can cook these for like, I don't know, uh, appetizers. You can do it for a meal. We do it for a meal a lot of times. Spread them out, let them drain, because I'm fixing to show you a little trick with the bacon. A lot of people, they'll cook these things and they'll wrap, wrap them in bacon and the bacon won't be done. Well, what you do is you get you a plate and you stick them in the microwave and you cook that bacon half cooked where it's still, you can wrap the wrap the, the breast with it, but it's almost done. So when you get it out there and get it on the grill, it'll be ready because you don't want to cook this well done. This ain't poultry, it's foul. You want it medium. Medium's gonna be perfect. That's old All right, let's check it out. Boy, that's hot. See it where it starts to turn brown? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nah. <laughs> that's a little trick there. What do they call them? Hacks? That's a little hack right there. Bacon hack. While I'm doing this, this ain't gonna take long. Let's go light the grill. Man, I tell you, lighting these grills, this is the worst part about it. That was rough. That's the worst thing about these things. <laughs> Look, I'm going to turn this thing to 300. Let it be heating up. Now we go in there and prep them ducks while this is heating up. <laughs> you thought that was going to be tough. These breasts in half. Lay them on this pan. Alright, now don't cut your ham while you do this. But you take it. And you have it. That's what I do. And these things are already too small to heal. So there's two. One, two. That's why I cook that bacon quick. See how thin that is? They ain't gonna take long to cook them. So you get them all cut the way you want them. I ain't saying to you, but let me tell you, it's awful good. That duck commander rub. If you got enough, just put some more on. Whoa, 
this bow ain't gonna like it. Cranky. That's some good stuff here. We'll use this whole block. I'll cut it in little pieces. And just put it on there. Just like it. Cut this bacon in half. Cause I can tell you, it ain't gonna take much. And I'm gonna fold him over like that. Fold him over like that. And I'm gonna take my bacon and make sure he stays closed. And make sure it comes all the way to the end. Or you can stick a toothpick through there and hold it. Voila. I've done a lot of rotten stuff. Maybe not as bad as a lot of people, but I'm pretty bad. To have all that forgotten, never to be held it against me again, ever. All I gotta do is love God and love my neighbor. That's all he has. Which, really, that takes care of all the commandments if you think about it. If you love God, you love your neighbor, you sure won't lie to him or try to kill him or try to get his wife. Try, you know, all the Ten Commandments are fulfilled right there. Pretty cool. He loved us so much, he died for it. I mean, that's pretty stout. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Look, let me give you, here's another tip. You see this? See that? Never trust a skinny cook. That's just a tip. I'll put these on the side, it's on 300. I'm gonna give them. comment and tell us how you do it but right there pretty good